We begin with big new plans for what's been an eyesore for many years. We're talking about the boarded up vacant buildings along Perry Street in the city of Buffalo. Perhaps you've seen them. This is a follow up to a story we first reported back in April, looking at what's next for the Commodore Perry Apartments. Mayor Byron Brown and the city of Buffalo's Office of Strategic Planning announcing today that they're one step closer to securing funding to demolish the dozens of vacant buildings there near Buffalo's Seneca Creek Casino. They announced the city is eligible for a total of $5 million from the Restore New York grant program, but they need about a billion dollars for this entire project. I spoke with neighbors about what they think the best use of all that money would be. They can put a housing back over here. King Navillis lives right next to the boarded up Commodore Perry homes. He agrees they're an eyesore and need to come down, but he doesn't think more housing is the best investment. What would you like to see here? You know, it's downtown. We should bring more businesses down here, bring more money down here. He tells me he was hoping the new Bills Stadium would be built in the city. Is that what a lot of your neighbors were hoping for, to see a stadium? Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be like the best, the best idea. Think about how much income that would bring. That's a lot of money to bring back into our city. But the plan is to tear down these buildings within the next two years and replace them with modern, affordable housing units, part of a larger redevelopment project, which also includes Marine Drive and Schaefer Village. It's expected to cost about $1 billion. The Brown administration drafted a resolution that is now being sponsored by Council, Mem uh, Council Member Nowakowski uh, to secure $5 million from uh, New York State as part of the Restore New York program. Brendan Mahaffey, director of the city's Office of Strategic Planning, tells me the $5 million they hope to secure from the state will be used to demolish the vacant Perry properties. Perry and Marine Drive are very big neighborhoods in my district that uh, we'll see brighter days, we'll see investment. I'm told the new affordable housing units, which could look something like this, will have the latest in broadband and digital technology and be energy efficient. We will continue to meet with our residents. We will continue to incorporate their hopes and their dreams for this neighborhood. The entire project could take up to 10 years to complete if they get all of the funding. Meanwhile, neighbors tell me they hope developers will consider building more than affordable housing. What would you like to see down there? It would be good to see different maybe restaurants and different kind of boutiques, shops, um, maybe some art, music, um, things like that. It's our city, it's the Queen City. It used to be one of the top 10 largest cities in the country. You know, it's a really, really great city. We just we need to bring some stuff back. It was nice to talk to all those neighbors today. They have some good ideas. We're told this will be a collective effort between the city, state, federal government, and housing authority. If it does come to fruition, leaders say this will be one of the biggest redevelopment projects ever in the city. Of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on that for you.